Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi. I think I'm gonna continue with my explorations of um, curve and surface nodes in SketchUp. So, what of the known feature of nerves or parametric surface like nerves is actually you you are able to turn curves into surface and you deform it. So it's a their curves and surface are actually connected. So you can, for example, pick a primitive surface like a sphere and you can actually break this down in back into curve um, I want to show you there's this surface subdomain right this one is quite powerful if I connect this together and then control so I just use V just in case you don't know and then control click and you get this viewer you can see just a part of the sphere the sphere this is sphere radius there's this u and v and apparently so you can you can actually play around with every part of the sphere so sphere uh, parametric sphere is really something that's made up of a, a flat square so if you know like u v if you flatten the sphere, you can get something that's more or less like a square. Of course, with a UV parametric sphere, you get a pinching at the top. But it creates a sphere. So that's uh, one thing. And evaluate surface itself is actually um, defining the sphere itself. Like how dense, etc. Which is quite interesting. And because normally you don't get this. You don't actually see this uh, as a node, right? So let's do it everything and get rid of these annotations, right? So let's save this file, save as so parametric surface and curve. The next thing I want to show you is uh, the one I forgot to show before. If, if we actually have curved circle and we want to loft it together, connect them together, I'm going to show you this example. You can actually use list join. So in my first video, I forgot to show you this. And you can connect them this way. And the result you so you can just plug this in into curve from surface or surface from curve here's this one and join level should be maybe two or one okay it's actually one but i need to transform the circles because currently they're they're on top of each other so I might actually go a little bit too fast maybe and my computer is kind of slow maybe I need to I need to quit the, the Safari sometimes Gmail is taking over the U and V uh, in this case actually actually can go too far so if it's go too far it's kind of going around itself that's why we get overlap just now so 0 to 1 is should be covering the whole thing or maybe yeah Maybe we have overlap. So let's uh, let's properly do this. Oof. Computer is super slow. So there's the radius. Okay. So we have three circles and we combine them together using list join and then 
we turn the circle, connect them together, loft it into a surface. There is actually one thing that I'm not sure it's possible yet. To, that's actually to connect these two as a cyclic. We can turn this on, but I know that the cyclic will go in the wrong direction. So we need a way to kind of flip the U and the V of the surface. So that's uh, actually something that we need to figure out in the future. For now, it's just keep it simple. Oh, by the way, you can also combine a lot of uh, circles using there's uh, something called like a macro it's almost like hidden but if you have let's say you have n gone instead of circle i will be using n gone this n gone is however it's not this it's not a circle curve but we can use we can turn this into a curve I think using cubic spline. So this is also this might surprise you. So we have this n gone, and I will have just three of them for now. Select these three, and then we're gonna shift a join. We can join this into level one. And so we have this this join, and we can connect into this guy. And seems like is it is it not working or maybe maybe it's working, but I need to move the end gone. Yeah, or change the radius for now. So it is already working, I just need to move it. There we go. So let's move this one as well. There. And in fact these three objects, if they are the same numbers, we can just maybe reuse them. Oh, don't worry about it. Just a silly idea. A number let's make this eight so this n gone we can decide how many sides to have how many sides and then okay we can randomize the n gone I know about the so I just randomized the end gone a little bit. So we have this surface, right? That has been um, parameterized. So each one of them is uh, something that you can trim, trim in the u, u and v directions. So you can resemble it, let's resemble it 12 by 12. Yeah, I think that's more or less what I'm what I'm trying to recreate. There's one more thing that I can show you. So we can really com combo like creating like a grammar with these nodes. We have forget the name there's tessellate and trim that's but that's a different one surface domain surface subdomain that's a uh, this one's looks pretty complex it's called ISO or something okay ISO U and V curve so before we use evaluate surface, we can actually plug this surface and we have this U and V curve and we have this value. Let's use a curve, evaluate curve. And connect this, 
control click sample small number for now so look at this that's the u of the curve and you can also use the v of the curve so in fact if you use the u of the curve and then you use a something like range number have a number between 0 and 1 you can recreate or whatever parametric surface it's piping in right and I'm I have a feeling that we can actually turn this into a circular thing again but I just want to show you this So very interesting, right? Suddenly we have an inability to um, we turn a circle or end goal into a surface, and then we turn back, turn it back from a surface into U and a V. So back then, in the past, a few years ago or before, before we have curve and surface, the way we do it is using UV connection. So this node is super powerful. In fact, if you turn back, if you turn this curve back into U and V, you can reconnect it and you create a polygon. So it's a, might be slightly confusing, but so supposedly I'm sure we can join it. Okay, we turn off the slicing. Okay, so this one actually create a, a polygon. Oh, it's not connected. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. But anyhow, I think this should explain the basic of curve and surface parametric. So think of it like maybe on the next video I can talk about how we can just draw a grease pencil and then loft it and we create a surface so you can really create a parametric uh, objects or characters normally nerves actually used to to create something like to for like a car or like a product design like a, maybe a joystick um, any objects that you can think of if you can think of them like a parametric you can actually design anything I'm more interested in creating creatures and animated creatures for objects like um, like a bottle or things like that. Also, everything seems to can be notified in a way or another. Since now we have the ability to use curve or spline and surface and then turn it back into polygon, seems like anything is possible. Right, just a lot, still slightly com complicated, but it's so much simpler than before. And every part of this parametric objects is something that you can you can change, and you can always pick it. Oh, by the way, I have a quick tip. If you if you like to hit bake a lot, you can right click, add to quick favorite. So anywhere you are in this environment, you can just Q and bake. Oops, Q and bake. All right. Um, so if you randomize the seed, hit Q and bake. All right. So there you go. It's a quite abstract. Hopefully, but you hopefully you find this interesting and useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Bye.